so here we go the brand new outlaw pass for red dead online is out and in this video i'm going to be going through every single thing that you get in it and answering whether or not it's worth your money should you skip purchasing it or are the wards within it good enough that you can't miss out see the timestamps on screen now for which part of the video is most relevant for you for anyone who hasn't come across the outlaw pass before it's essentially rockstar's answer to the season passes you see in other games and you can buy it with gold bars which you can either purchase with real money or you can earn quite slowly in game so let's begin with unlock number one so straight away you get fifty dollars a 15 percent roll xp boost and the dedham outfit onto rank number two you get an ability card of your choice unlocked for free five legendary animal pheromones get five bottles of legendary animal pheromones for free this scent provokes a reaction from nearby legendary animals revealing their location. So that is obviously tied into the new role in the game. Five gold bars unlocked at rank three. At rank four, you unlock the cloverly pants, loose legged and torn denim pants, as well as the bold wood grain that can be applied to any of your guns. At rank five, you get select emotes, one emote for free. So just for clarity here, this top section with all these five gray boxes here, without actually purchasing the Outlaw Pass, you do get to unlock these items. It's the bottom bit down here where you can see that it says buy Outlaw Pass for 40 gold bars. This is the section that basically you have to pay for. So moving on now to rank number six, you get the red filter for the advanced camera. So that's obviously tied in with the new role as well. On to rank seven now, you get the cloth wrap sage the hunter background capture your mastery of nature at the photo studio you also get 2000 naturalist xp the naturalist is the new role on to rank eight you get the buckton rings two rings in the shape of a snake and a small bird skull they look all right rank number nine you get an ammo parcel as well as a select a camp equipment a discount on that so that's 30 percent off on to rank number 10 now you get the rifleman pose chair and rifles to rank number 11 now you get one fast travel ticket actually no sorry it's five tickets to fast travel for free okay that's not too bad a mash refill that's for the moonshiner roll and bar decor or decor however you want to pronounce that get three gold bars off a bar decor of your choice rank 12 enamel inlay red a colored enamel inlay that can be applied to any owned gun or knife the cloverly shirt unlocked at rank 13 at rank 14, you get Vitalism Studies Pamphlets. Get five gold bars of Vitalism Studies Pamphlet of your choice. Requires naturalist at rank five. You also get a gun care parcel with some gun oil at this rank as well. Five gold bars, again at 15. At rank 16, you get an ammo parcel. At rank 17, you get the West Elizabeth flag for your camp. As well as select shirts, you get one select shirt unlocked before rank 15 for free. God, that's... I don't know why limited. Why limited to just before rank 15. 25 trader goods for free at rank 18 as well as $50. You get the beat chest, assert your dominance emote at rank 19. And then the ZZ buckle at rank 20 with a little muskrat it looks like. Oh no, it's a foraging beaver. Rank 21, five animal revivers. Rank 22, you get a cloth rat cobalt for your gun. Be nice if you actually could see what it looked like, you know, on the left properly. Ability card unlock for free at rank 22. At rank 23, you get a hunting parcel with various bits of bait and stuff in it. Select saddles 40% off at rank 23. The cloverly hat at rank 24. The confident dance emote at rank 25, as well as a 25% roll XP boost. Moving on now to roll 26, where you get 30% off of select non-roll pamphlets. Roll 27, moonshine ingredients parcel and an ammo ingredients parcel. At rank 28, you get the end credits filter, another filter for the advanced camera. Cloverly dropped suspenders at rank 29. And at rank 30, you get 25 trader goods again and the new Hanover flag for your camp. At rank 31, you get the gun care parcel, a small package of gun oil, a treasure map as well at this rank too. At rank 32, you get an ammo parcel. Nitro Express ammo, that is. At rank 33, you get the enamel inlay, blue. The Socialites Pose at rank 34. The Cloverly Boots at rank 35. At rank 36, you get Select Hats. So you get one Select Hat before the rank of 15 for free. Swamp Background at rank 37. Rank 38, Horse Care Parcel and the Amador Hat. It's not a bad looking hat, that one. Five Gold Bars at rank 39. The Knight Buckle at rank 40. And then moving on to rank 41, where you get the Charcoal Filter 
At rank 42, the Saint Denis graphic flag for your camp. The bandit mask, that's quite cool, at rank 43, as well as an ammo parcel at this rank as well. 25 trader goods at rank 44, a 30% roll XP boost at 45, and then moving on to the next section, a weapons parcel at rank 46, as well as a 30% discount for the wilderness camp and 40% off select saddles. $100 at rank 47. The Birdle hat at rank 48. Now that's a bit of a mad hat, that one. Proper fisherman's hat. Rank 49, you get 50% off a select novice or promising item from any of your current roles. A mystery reward at rank 50. At rank 51, you get select ponchos. That's 40% off of select ponchos. Five gold bars as well at this rank. A collectibles parcel at rank 52. Two collectibles parcels at rank 52. At rank 53, you get another enamel inlay, this time green. Five legendary animal pheromones again at rank 54, as well as some fast travel tickets too. Rank 55, you get a select emotes, one emote for free. The hunter's pose for rank 56. The drunk, a tipsy walking style at rank 57. The abington cap at rank 58. The drunk filter at rank 58 as well. The guama flag at rank 59 and the Aguga Buckle at rank 60. Sorry if I'm absolutely butchering that word. I've never seen that word before. Rank 61, you get select shirts. That's one select shirt again, unlocked before rank 15. Collectibles parcel times two at rank 62. The Goat Herd warm outfit for Crips. Five gold bars at rank 64. Select hat, one select hat before rank 15 for free. Amador boots, they look okay. Mash refill as well at 65, both these items at 65. Rank 66, you get five animal revivers. 67, select roll items, 50% off various roll items. The Abington nightgown at rank 68. Yeah, it's probably going for the little scro sort of Scrooge look with that cap that we unlocked earlier in the Outlaw Pass. The exotic background, a little Egypt scene there at rank 69 and at rank 70 five more gold bars another enamel inlay this time yellow at rank 71 as well as the amador pants as well a, gua a guama filter at rank 72 a rock paper scissors play a quick game i swear am i going mental i could have sworn we already had that or have i seen that in a different game i don't know what is going on there and some just mad sound just happened. That sounds like a legendary animal kind of sound. As well as this, at rank 73, you get 40% off a double bandolier of your choice. A treasure map at rank 74. Five gold bars at rank 75. The canine pose at rank 76. A mystery reward at rank 77. The Amador coat at rank 78. That looks quite cool. New metal styles available. Go to the gunsmith to apply these to your weapons. Uh, okay doesn't really say specifically what it is or show what it is so it's hard to know if that's good or not five gold bars at rank 79 the golden spirit buckle that's a bear looks like he's got a salmon in his gob you also get the formal dance at rank 80 as well the zapatero outfit you also get at rank 80 there too so moving on now to rank 81 we get a 50 dollars reward again 15 percent roll xp boost the dedum outfit then on what the fuck right Okay, I thought there was 100, 100 ranks, but there's not, there's 80. So I felt like I was going mad when I reached rank 80 and the reward stopped. I was expecting there to be an 81 through to 100. Um, I thought for a second, oh, maybe there was only 80 on the last one, but I just checked the last video that I did on the Outlaw Pass and there was 100 ranks of items to unlock. So where are the other 20 ranks of items to unlock? Um, Rockstar just have taken 20 ranks out of it and I can't see any mention of it anywhere really. So what's going on? So there you go, that was 80 ranks of the Outlaw Pass. Whether that is worth it or not, I don't really know to be honest. <laughs> I mean, if you've got the gold bars and you play the game all the time anyway, then yeah, go for it. But there's nothing in here that excited me in, in, the, in the least, to be honest, like at all. I am not bothered by this Outlaw Pass, I don't think. I think the previous one was actually better than this. There was some, there was some a lot of cooler stuff, some original stuff in there. This is just full of stuff that you get every week anyway. In the updates that we get every Tuesday, there's stuff like the um, the discounts, the 50% off or 30% off, for example, this select camp equipment. You get a 30% off of that. We get that every Tuesday anyway. It's not really, not really an unlock in my eyes. 
um, just get a discount on some stuff that you've probably already got. Overall, to be honest, I'm really, really underwhelmed and disappointed by this Outlaw Pass. There's nothing in here that's really making me excited to, to get it. Um, if I didn't already have the gold bars for it, then I wouldn't get it. Um, the fact that you can earn the gold bars back as well by working your way through the Outlaw Pass is incentive to, I suppose, purchase it, but only if you've got the gold bars in your account already. I personally, obviously it's up to you, but I really, really wouldn't recommend putting your own money into this game to purchase this Outlaw Pass because the stuff in is it's just not good enough. Not only are the quality of items, in my opinion, not up to scratch in this newest Outlaw Pass, but we're also missing 20 ranks of items. I've got to say just the Outlaw Pass alone, not the whole update as a whole so far. I've not really delved into the other parts of the update yet. So far, that's a massive disappointment, to be honest, the Outlaw Pass. I'm really, really disappointed with it. I don't know what you think about it. You have to let me know in the comments what your opinion is of this Outlaw Pass. I am a big fan, to be fair, of season passes. I've seen a lot of good ones, seen a lot of bad ones. And unfortunately, this, this in my opinion, is a bad one. Um, not just inside of Red Dead, but in the wider scheme of things, in terms of other games as well, this is not a very good uh, season pass. And we've waited a long time for it as well. If you're interested in an in-depth review of the new Naturalist role, then be sure to subscribe for that video released later this week. Or if you're watching this video after I've already released that video, then click the link on screen now. Please like this video if you enjoyed it or it helped you out at all. I'm James Cookie. Cheers.